attempt to try and use this egg share method. So how do you go out there? So the first step, really, if you're going to do a property, the idea is it should be something like this. These are the plans. Basically, the farmer uh, stakeholders, the faculty at the university, and then the students who are uh, doing the research. So the idea, these are the three players in the method. The students need to go into the field, interact with the farmer communities, and investigate various research issues, research problems, and then try to evolve some type of solution or uh, uh, information that when it's fed back to the farmer community can actually improve practice generally. So that's pretty straightforward. Students do research, find out stuff, and then feed back into the process. At the same time, the students are feeding the same information to faculty. So the idea is there should be some type of curricular revision. How is what they are finding out impacting on what is taught to generations in the future? And of course, coordinating the whole approach is really the relationship between the faculty and the farmer stakeholders. If it's real action research, this process should be a reiterative reiterate one. It should happen a few times so that it's beginning to be refined. So the, the idea then is these are the inputs. This is what's supposed to drive the, the process. The nice thing is that out of this comes a whole load of outputs which can be um, uh, used for other purposes. And the, the obvious one is uh, there is skills and knowledge transfer and I think that's implicit in what we've already said but there's also another one which is very close to my heart is the generation of what we call open education resources Now, if you're not familiar with this, this is basically saying that the, uh, the types of resources that come out of this relationship can be shared across the globe with a, with a license which allows other people to take and copy it. They can even, under many instances, repurpose it, they can translate it, they can change the pictures, they can chop paragraphs out, they can add it in if they want. And the nice thing is they contextualize it for their particular area. And all this is possible because the license is open, meaning that people don't have to ask for permission to do these things. They can just take them and use them. Um, the reason it's close to my heart is I do a lot of work for OER Africa. And so I'm constantly going on and on about more uh, academics releasing their materials with this type of license so that um, other people across, the, especially the developing world, can benefit, but there's no reason why people in the developed world can't appreciate the quality of the work that African uh, and other developing world academics are doing. So that's another thing very close to my heart. And then the other one is, um, it's the other output is that the curricula is uh, kept up to date and, uh, and relevant. Okay, so the idea then is, because of this type of relationship, we get at least get these three things coming out of the, the process. And the final outcome is that hopefully we get improved farming methods. Oops. It would help if I could spell. But we also get relevant teaching and learning. And this is basically what this little method is all about. <coughs>